If you are using Google Pay application and if you want to know how you can activate UPI Lite in Google Pay, then this video is for you. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. So to activate UPI Lite in Google Pay, first of all, you need to open the application and complete the login process. Once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your screen. You get some transaction related option over here. You can check out your UPI ID over here. Uh, you can check out all the recent transaction you have done. Now, in order to activate UPI Lite, there are two ways. On the home page itself, you get an option of activate UPI Lite. If you don't see this option, the next thing you can do is you can go and select your profile over here at the top. Once you select that on the profile page over here, you can see there is an option of UPI Lite. So what is UPI Lite? Let me select this option first. When you select UPI Lite, we are on the next page and over here you will get basic details related to UPI Lite. So this is faster and it's pin free payment. So you don't have to enter your UPI pin for doing the transaction. Now, any transaction you are doing up to 500 rupees uh, for that, you don't need any pin over here and you can experience lower payment failures if you are using uh, UPI Lite and you can also pay, uh, pay your friends. You can, you know, uh, do the transaction online or any QR code. So that's the benefit of UPI Lite. Now to activate UPI Lite, all you need to do is you need to go down and over here, you need to add some amount in your UPI Lite account. So already some uh, amount are uh, given over here. If you want to uh, enter the amount manually, you can tap over here and you can do that. So I'm going to add 200 over here for now. Once you do that, click on this tick mark option. Now you need to select the bank account from which you, uh, you want the amount to add in this UPI Lite. So if you have added uh, multiple bank accounts, you can select change option over here and then you will be able to check out all the bank account. Now for now, you can see my Indescent account does not support UPI Lite. Uh, IDFC account does not support UPI Lite. So HDFC support UPI Lite, Kotak Mahinda Bank support UPI Lite and there might be some banks uh, which might support and which might not support UPI Lite. So you need to check that. So I'm going to uh, select my HDFC bank only. I'm going to select continue option. And once everything is done, all you need to do is you need to select add 200 option over here or whichever amount you are entering. On the next page, you need to enter your UPI pin and then uh, select this tick mark option. Now I have entered the UPI pin. Let's select this option. Now you can see money has been, uh, you know, it's in process. It will be added in UPI Lite and it's done. 200 rupees has been added to UPI Lite. Simply select got it option. Now, all you can do is you can go in bank account and over here, you can check out your UPI Lite balance. So select UPI Lite and over here, you can check out your current balance. If you want to add more amount, you can do that from here. Now, if you do any transaction up to 500 rupees for that, you don't need to, uh, you know, uh, enter any pin for that. So let's try you know, sending the amount to some other account. So let's say, for example, I want to uh, transfer some amount to this particular contact. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select pay option. After that, let's enter the amount. So I'm going to enter 100 rupees for now. And let's add this as a test, right? As soon as you enter the amount, you can see you get an option of UPI Lite. So from here, you can uh, select your bank or else if you want to transfer from, uh, from UPI Lite, you can select UPI Lite option. So I'm going to keep it that way only. Now, you, uh, you can see you need to uh, select pay option and that's pin free. So as soon as I press pay, now you can see directly the amount has been transferred to that particular contact. Uh, you didn't get an option uh, to enter UPI pin. So that's uh, actually very good because whenever you are in hurry, uh, it's better that you use UPI Lite so that uh, your time will be saved and it is completely safe. So no need to worry about that. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. This is how you can activate UPI Lite in Google Pay application. So if you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.